Thank you, Jerry. I'm delighted to be here today. Um, so my name is Jack Skillen. I'm from Living Streets. Um, Jerry invited me to come and inspire you about walking today, but um, for th between three to five minutes, he said. But don't worry, I won't be uh, uh, giving you a rousing rendition of You'll Never Walk Alone, <laughs> um, though I was tempted. Um, um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about Living Streets. We are now 85 years old. Uh, thank you, that's very kind of you. And um, I, uh, we were originally the Pedestrians Association, so uh, right at the beginning in the 1920s, 1930s, pushing things like zebra crossings, um, 30 mile an hour speed limits at the time, um, and up to today where we lobby government and do little kinds of projects, things like walk to school, trying to get people out walking, creating safe, attractive and enjoyable streets. Um, we have a professional staff, but we also have lots of supporters and active groups across the country. I believe there's a, a Liverpool pedestrian group that's recently formed. I don't know if there's anyone here from that group, but I hope so. But um, 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 yeah, so that's kind of how we, how we work. And there's a, there are huge challenges across the country, a national level and a local level, uh, with the number of people walking reducing and that's been kind of constant over the last 40 years or so and um, the health burden that that's creating so walking is actually you know one of well the easiest way of getting people active and healthy and overcoming some of those those burdens um, so I've, today I've been walking around Liverpool a little bit myself just to have a look because I don't I don't know it and um, I mean the bits I, I think I probably saw the best bits to be honest and, and they were really wonderful. So mm -hmm. um, I was, uh, I'm normally much more used to seeing really crappy streets. And um, so this actually measured up very well, but I'm sure there are parts that I would uh, uh, be able to be more uh, scathing about. Um, but some, just some general themes that I think, you know, I wanted to put in the discussion. And one that's been mentioned already is around um, vision and leadership. And I think that you know, if you really want to get people walking and you really want to, to do it in a serious way, um, you really need to have a, a long-term strategy that sets that out. And that might have targets around walking and, um, and, is that, and, is, and it then becomes a central plank of uh, transport, of planning and of health um, strategies and brings all that, that kind of work together. And if you don't have that strategy and it's not championed by somebody who really takes that seriously, then then it, ju it just gets, gets parked. Um, but leadership also comes from people. And if you want to see more people-friendly streets, then you need to put on events like today, which is fantastic to see. Um, and you, people need to be vocal. Pedestrians famously are not vocal. They just kind of, um, being a pedestrian is almost like, you know, breathing. You don't campaign for breathing, uh, nor do you campaign for walking. But actually you can, and it's important that people do, because otherwise, people who complain about traffic jams and parking will always come out on top. So, you know, I really invite you to, to be heard. Um, and let's hear um, from older people and vulnerable people, parents with kids, um, and people who choose not to drive. Make yourselves heard. And that's how leadership can happen. And we can see, you know, that there's real street life and celebration of place that has come out of Liverpool that, you know, even I've seen things like the, the giants taking over the town centre and, you know, the whole centre stopping for these... Uh, uh, these Liverpool giants, I think, earlier in the year, and also this campaign to turn the flyovers into a, a, a park that I've seen something about. Second point is around the infrastructure, so making sure your infrastructure is good for walking. Um, making sure that the, the places that people want to go are well connected, uh, legible, all those things. Um, Living Streets, we run community street audits. It's one of our kind of key tools. Um, and that's about looking at streets from the perspective of people who use those streets rather than the perspective of people who manage those streets and then working with those planners to make sure they deliver uh, upon that. Um, and where that falls short, that's where you can invest your, invest your um, scarce resources, your, your money. Um, and there's a great business case for investing in public realm, We've got a report here. I've got a couple of copies, if anybody wants some, um, on the pedestrian pound. So if you're investing in public realm, you increase footfall, and that's good for shops. Um, and actually, people who walk to, to, to shops and town centres actually spend more than people who drive or who take the bus or who cycle. So it, it's, uh, it's really important for the economy as well to invest in that. 
I think also around any new developments, it's really important to think about walking first and really put it at the heart. So, I don't know, just, I don't know anything about this, but the Liverpool Stadium, I saw has been, there's been some controversy around the need for parking and the traffic creation. Well, you know, walking is hugely a part of going to a football match, the anticipation, the enjoyment of, of going to the game. So, you know, really make walking central to any new development. And I think uh, the Emirates Stadium and Arsenal is a great example of that compared to Wembley, which I think is pretty atrocious. Um, and just finally, safety. Make, take the fear and anxiety out, out of walking, and that's what will get people to walk. So you really need to focus on traffic speeds, for example. Try and, I've heard you know, that Liverpool has been very ambi ambitious in its suburbs and is almost entirely 20 miles an hour. But now places across the country are putting 20 miles an hour in their high streets because that's where people walk and want to feel safe and relaxed. Um, crossing times, make sure vulnerable people can get across the road, and that's one of a really big campaign that we've got at the moment. So just in, con in conclusion, it's a huge challenge nationally to get people out walking, um, but it's so important for the economy and for, for, for people's health. So um, there is a group in Liverpool, so I, mean, I would encourage people to find them out. Uh, who are pushing uh, pedestrian, the pedestrian agenda. And we've heard that the council are going to come up with some policies, so we hope they are leading from the front as well. And many cities around the world are doing it, so uh, you'll not be walking alone if you, uh, if you do. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <Joe. laughs>